All right, Thomas, this is uh, John here, and I'm going to put together a little quick clip for you. And I've got your uh, sax and uh, taking your chances, taking your chances queued up, and uh, we'll do this by ear. I'm going to run through this quick uh, and uh, kind of see what we got. But uh, my guess is it's going to be uh, uh, some sort of a minor pentatonic shell. And uh, as we discussed on the phone, we're going to cover that real quick. So I'm going to cue this up, and uh, we'll do this by ear and see what we get. Uh, for this uh, 80s metal, you know, uh, 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 simple amplifier, distortion pedal, and uh, for this I'm using my uh, Charvel Model 2 that I've used for other clips, humbuckers, regular deal. Okay, so here we go. Saxon, uh, taking your chances. <laughs> Okay, so uh, as we discussed before, this is uh, tuned down to 439, and uh, so I can hear an open pedal, probably an octave jump to E, which is, uh, which is going to set up probably an E minor pentatonic shell, probably. So he's playing something like this. Something like that, and that's that's just an open E. That kind of thing. Something like that. You can play with that a little bit. You could have a a, a, a delay on the uh, on the chain, causing it to give it a little backing effect. Yeah, a little delay on the back of it. Yeah, and then he's got a little delay on it. Something like that. Two players. Other other guitar player comes in with the backing. So if we have an E minor root, okay, uh, it's going to give us an E minor pentatonic shell. Position one, E minor off the nut. Position two off the third, G major, Ionian. Uh, position uh, three, Dorian off of A, it's a minor shape. Position uh, four, Phrygian off of B, the fifth. Uh, position five, Mixolydian D. And uh, all corresponding chords that would go with those shapes. So we're going to have a shape that sounds like this over the E. E minor root. Now the other guitar player is coming in. Be uh, something like it's probably over the E minor chord. I'm like, no. Ah, okay, so there. you have there is what's known as a uh, one three seven and uh, the two most uh, uh, common uh, chord progressions in uh, 
metal and uh, blues rock are a 145 and especially in metal 137. What he's doing is E root, and he's playing out a Dor Dorian uh, pentatonic shape. And he's simply applying chords. The one would be the three, seven being the D, and the three being G. So you have a pattern that goes. You apply chords to that, gives you. And this one three seven pattern is a real common pattern to solo over. So uh, that's that's pedaling over the D, the root. In this case, E uh, E minor. I'm sorry. Pedaling over E. And then backing, uh, uh, and then pedaling, and then soloing over the D. In this case, D D uh, major. So you have this. Again, uh, one three seven in E. One seven one three. So so far we have this. Other guitar player. And again, how I got that, I'm simply using the uh, pentatonic shapes. Here he's out of Dorian. And I simply took the notes of the Dorian scale and applied chord to it. So the other guitar players uh, playing. Yeah, he's going. Over the E. Real, real common um, uh, uh, soloing technique and uh, song structure based on 80s metal. Change there. Change to A. Again, open Dorian. Yeah. Right there. So over the verse, he came up. You notice I simply find out ear training wise what key, what chord change. I simply just went chromatically up the neck. But it's going to be one of those five pentatonic shapes in this shell. So again, the uh, the uh, chorus was again out of the shell. And he's coming back to Dorian again over the A. And, I, and it sounded like a descending riff, much like. He's going down the chord. So <clears throat> if we were to transpose that over the E, again we're going to E minor here. Okay, so that A chord, well, again all out of Dorian. That'd be A to the G to the F. Yeah, so if we stay inside the box shape, and this time moving up to fr 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 Phrygian, position five, which would be stay in that Phrygian box shape over B. You'd have A, G, uh, D, to the F, and again we're still in our over Phrygian, so we have Something like that. In A 
to the G to the D to the E F. No. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, inversion there. <clears throat> Over the F. Solo is probably me built out of one of these two shells. Verse goes the A. Dorian. Minor shape. She's going A to the uh, G to the suspended to the F. A to the G to the D suspended to the F. Transitions F to the G, still over A. Okay, <clears throat> some of this solo here. Okay. 
So we have here uh, to find out, uh, in order to play the leads, you got to find out what's going on underneath. Okay, so we're in E, right, E minor. Okay, so to find out what's going on underneath, I simply crank, went chromatically up the neck. To find out what the chords are underneath, and I hit D. So the first part of the solo is going to be over a D chord, which is real common. E is the 1, D is the 7. We already covered this. And then uh, uh, G is the E. And so he's going to be soloing out of D shape. Okay. This um, uh, idea of soloing over the 1 to the 7, the 1 to the 7, the 1 to the 7 is real, real common rock. Uh, for study and analysis on playing the 1 over the 7, uh, do a research and study on uh, Cream, Eric Clapton, a song called Sunshine of Your Love, based on the same idea. And it goes... Now there you have E to the D, same thing here, E to the D, to the E to the D, to the D. Okay, so <clears throat> solo-wise, the first shape is over the D, and it goes to the E root. So here's what that means, theory-wise. When you can change goes to D, okay, you're going to be a key change underneath of the D. That means you're going to come all the way up to D, fret 10, string th uh, 6, uh, D minor pentatonic, over the D, okay, uh, C mixolydian, and F major. So it's going to give you this shape. Okay, that's over the D. When it goes to E. Same idea. Simply moving up to the next shape. Okay, so you have this. And then and all over the D, it's probably the same 1, 3, 7 over the D, something like. Back that up. Probably the same pattern, one through seven. Solo coming. Yeah, same pattern. Give me now. Back to D. Okay, yeah, yeah. So now, so you have the D seven. He's going one, three, seven, and D. Come up to E. So that means over the D, D, D minor root. Okay, come up to E. Okay, let's get some of these licks here, see what we got here. Yeah, there, he's in. Yeah. yeah. Back that up. Yeah, like a shaker. Shanker? Yeah. UFO. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 Michael Shanker. Michael Shanker to start. Clap to the finish. Again, all over, all over D. Yeah. Michael Sh Schenker to start, Clapton to finish there. All right, so first shape, something like this. UFO, then come down with the Clapton. Yeah, take the scale straight down. That's still in D. It's lick two. Yeah, Chuck Berry there. Chuck Berry slash. Victory. Yeah, and then a major. Something like that. Lick four. Slide into major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's major. Major. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, so. There are the games of the D. Alright, so you have this. D, D minor root, top of mixolydian off C, and uh, slid in a major over the F. So you have something like it. That's a Schenker UFO type lick. Uh, Clapton. Slash. That kind of thing. That kind of thing. That's, that's bending in a major. Let's pull that together. All right, man, there you go. Hope that satisfies your curiosity. There over the leads, all, all I'm doing is I'm simply playing the, uh, you know, tried and true pentatonic licks as shape, uh, UFO, shanker type shape. It's a UFO type deal. Clapped and run. That's the same as... That's where I'm getting that from. Okay, that's Clapton. A slash. See Mr. Brownstone. Brandy Rhodes, Mr. Crowley. Big 
bend bending in the major. All right, man, there you go. The morning coffee is a little ear training there for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's uh, Saxon that you're asking about taking the chances. A little ear training, how to find out stuff uh, from ear and applying some licks and some theory to it. Hope that satisfies your curiosity. If you want more, let me know. We can go from there. All right, man, take care.